the end, it's their illness that has taken over, and appreciating that fact is critical for coping with the guilt and the grief of being a survivor. One very public family was suddenly confronted with that grief a year ago. Former Illinois Attorney General Jim Ryan and his wife Marie had endured so much already, cancer and losing a child. But then came what they say was their family's toughest loss. Their 24-year-old son, Patrick, committed suicide in October of 2007. The Ryans had always been so public about their family's struggles, but this cut to the core. Marie Ryan told me she didn't want to do anything to dishonor her son's memory, and so she was reluctant to talk publicly about it. But the more she thought it over, the more she realized that would be succumbing to the stigma. If it could help anyone, the Ryans said, then Patrick's story must be told. They sat down with me for their first interview about it, sharing how they were desperately holding on to hope. I really thought it was talk. I would have not in a million years would I have thought Pat would have taken his own life. That's the truth. For Jim and Marie Ryan, October 7th started out as a glorious day. They welcomed a new granddaughter into the world. Here's Patrick holding his niece at the hospital. But just a few hours after this photo was taken, their day turned into a nightmare. A call from Elmhurst police. Patrick, their 24-year-old son, was inside their home alone with a gun. So we're huddled a couple doors down praying that he's going to come out of this all right. But Patrick shot himself. There is just so much uh, guilt and despair on your own part because you feel that you have failed this child in, its, in the most basic thing that you could possibly fail them at, that they don't even want to live anymore. Yeah, we're struggling. This is a big loss to our family. A family that has seen more than its share of pain through the years. First, there was Jim Ryan's lymphoma. Diagnosed in 1996 when he was DuPage County State's Attorney, it returned in 2002 when he was the Republican nominee for governor. In 1997, the youngest of their six children, 12-year-old Anne Marie, collapsed and died of a brain tumor. And 10 months later, Marie Ryan suffered a near-fatal heart attack. While they dealt with all of these health scares very publicly, privately, they say, they were in a fight to save Patrick. He was 14 when Anne Marie died, and the two youngest siblings were especially close. And Pat was never completely the same after Anne died. Never. And there's no question. Pat sank into a severe depression and dropped out of high school. When he was 17, he entered rehab. He was medicating himself, you know, with street drugs. It was around this time that Pat was diagnosed as having bipolar disorder, manic depression. He also had two very painful back surgeries and got hooked on prescription painkillers. He was seeing psychiatrists and was on mood stabilizers, but earlier this year, the Ryans say they noticed a change. That's what started Pat spiraling. You couldn't get through to him anymore. You could see that something had shut down and he just didn't see life as, there was just nothing. He has said, you know, don't think, I'll shoot myself or I'll kill myself. But Jim Ryan says he never believed those threats would be carried out. Now, seven weeks after losing Patrick, they are in counseling. Still in shock, still feeling guilty and angry. They also say they're holding on to hope that their honesty might be helpful to someone. Despite our loss, we feel lucky. We have a great family. Don't be ashamed to, to, to reach out for, for help. You know, you can't deal with some demons by yourself. We have to bring this out in the open and shine a light on it, say, be honest about it, let's deal with it, let's do something about it. Since our interview, Jim and Marie Ryan have been speaking out at suicide prevention conferences and making it their mission now to help as many people as possible. The Ryans ask that all donations in Patrick's name be made to the LOSS program of the Catholic Charities. LOSS stands for Loving Outreach to Survivors of Suicide, a program they've been helped by over the past year. And we'll have more about LOSS coming up a little later in this program. There are a number of resources designed to help families, among them the National Suicide Hotline. You can call 1-800-SUICIDE or 1-800-273-TALK. All of this information and more is on our website, abc7chicago.com. Stay with us. We'll be back with more in a moment.